bright sunny day, it's project time. Okay, so we've got our scrap timber here. Um, we've got a couple of projects we want to do today. We're going to build a bird feeder, and um, we were hitting the ball uh, with this, uh, just a couple of tennis balls with the children before. And so I'm going to try and make uh, like a miniature cricket bat or something out of it, so that there's no splinters for the children. They'll be able to use it a bit better. Um, but yeah, all this timber was free. This is off cuts from a different project that Billy Russian did, and uh, the shops just throw these crates out. So. Very cheap, easy to do. I'm just going to draw up some plans now so I can get you know, some rough measurements to cut everything to. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get going. Okay, so we're going to be using this uh, piece of 145 by 28. Um, that will be the base for our um, bird feeder. And then I'm going to be using this crate for the poles and the rafters and like all the roof and that. So I've just got to pull all this apart and uh, then we can get started. Now that that's done, we can start cutting our parts. Okay, now I'm just going to cut a 10 degree angle down the length of this board. And this is going to be for the base of our uh, bird feeder and that's gonna give us the angle for the posts. They're gonna come off like this on a 10 degree angle. Then I'll cut the rafters at 25 degrees. Okay, now that the base is cut and the raft is cut, I'm just going to go and cut these posts to the right height and then I'm going to notch out the base so that they'll fit snug in there and then I'm going to notch the top of the posts out to take the rafters so they'll get a 15 degree notch in the top there and uh, then we're ready to dry fit it together. There we are.
Okay, so let's get this glued up and then when it's dry, we can uh, wet the roof on. Okay, so while this is drying, I'm gonna make a bat out of this scrap bit of timber here. And uh, hopefully by the time I finish that, this will be dry, and I'll be able to finish it off, and I'll be able to get it hung today. We've got the uh, rough cut of the the shape of the bat done and I'm um, just going to get some sandpaper, uh, probably 80 grit and then um, finish it off. Hey! Right with the glue all dry, it's uh, ready for the Last couple of bits to be cut and final assembly. So I've got this all put together now and uh, it's going to wait for the wood to dry so tomorrow I'll probably give it a final sand over the top and uh, some kind of protective coating and then we'll be able to hang it up with the children all ready for little birdies. What we do is we put the rag up like this, tip the foil upside down, like that. And then, first we'll do this one as a practice one, then we just rub oil on there. Like that. Okay. So your turn first. Hold it with that hand. Yeah. Like that. Okay. And then put it in that bit. Yeah. Whoa. You're oiling it. This is to protect it from the weather. Okay. Your turn. Okay. Okay. Ready?
give it one more coat quickly. And then we can hang it up. Okay, so we've uh, finished oiling the bird feeder. Sunflower oil, so the bird should love the smell of that. And now we're just waxing our little bat. So if you recognise the shape of this bat, don't forget to write it down in the comments. Our little boy is uh, playing cards with the blocks. Oh, he's cutting. <laughs> well, there you are. It's going to be like daddy. We can't wait too close because we uh, no. Somewhere here? Yep. yep. I reckon so. Oh boy, carrying it for daddy. Thank you. 